even in this video, I will showcase a BAP1 inactivated melanocyte technibus. I believe it's best if you first look at the virtual slides before looking at the rest of this video. The clinical data for this case is that of a young adult with a recent modification of a known nevus, and there is a, the modification is exophytic growth and depigmentation. Here's a little drawing of what I thought the lesion could look like. On uh, the low power view, we can see that the lesion is exophytic. Most of the lesion is uh, forming a clone inside the dermis, and we can see there are some uh, nodular areas or structure within this clone, we can also guess maybe some inflammatory lymphocytic infiltrates uh, in some areas. Now let's look at a higher magnification. We can see the clone is made of loose sheets and nests of melanocytes. These have uh, some uh, epithelioid and nevocytoid cytology. There's some areas with large amount of lymphocytes, and there is some degree of uh, fibrous and edematous uh, background. There's almost uh, no mitotic activity, maybe uh, a few uh, dispersed mitotic figures. Moving to ultra high power and another area of the slide, we can see that there is this wide cytoplasm that is unpigmented, and there is some degree of atypia, uh, frequent multinucleations, not that many mitotic figures, and we see what we call kissing figures mean with lymphocytes directly in contact with the membrane of melanocytes. And moving uh, towards uh, the upper part of the epidermis, we see here a remnants of normal bland melanocytes that are pigmented, and you can see there is a junctional component that is a made of small lentiginous melanocytes. Moving to BAP1 immunohistochemistry, it sh should only take you a few seconds to see that there is a loss of the expression in the, the nuclei inside the clone. There will be a positive controls in the lymphocytes as well as in the keratinocytes, and there can also be uh, some positivity where there are the bland remnants I showed you uh, previously. Here you see there is uh, some degree of cytoplasmic stain with a BAP1. This is inconstant. Uh, in this case, the BRAF uh, V600E IHC was uh, positive uh, throughout all the melanocytes. The K67 proliferation index was very low uh, within the clonal melanocytes with less than 10% of positive nuclei, whereas a high number of lymphocytes were positive. To sum up this case, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon for another case.